Today I'm going to do an instructional video on how to insert a needle-in catheter in a male. The first thing I'm going to do is check the patient's chart and make sure that this is something that the doctor is still ordering and it looks like he is. So once I have verified that the catheter is still needed, I'm going to go ahead and gather my supplies and head into the room. Hi there, my name's Tawny and I'm a nursing student at MCC. Can you tell me what your name and date of birth are, please? And he tells me that his name is Jose Cuervo and that his date of birth is 9-16-95 and I verify that with the wristband. I also verify with the wrist that he has no allergy band and I can verify in his patient records, the patient chart, that he doesn't have uh, any allergies. So Jose, the doctor has ordered a catheter to be placed in you. When was the last time that you urinated? And he told me it's been about six hours. And I checked the input output uh, flow sheet and it actually has been about six hours documented that he has it, uh, urinated. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some assessments here, Jose, and check everything out. And while I do that, I'm also gonna um, palpate his bladder and it is quite distended. So I'm gonna move ahead and get this catheter going for him. I'm gonna ask his family to please leave the room. So we're done here. And I'm gonna pull the curtain for some privacy. And then I'm just gonna raise the bed up here to just kind of a nice working height um, so that I can put the catheter in comfortably and, and also keep him fairly comfortable. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the bed rail here. And I'm gonna lay this back. Jose, have you ever had a catheter before? And he tells me no, that he hasn't. So I'm just gonna explain to him that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a tube inside the um, into the urethra that'll reach up to the bladder. And once we get it in the bladder and set, it'll drain that urine that you're having there. And while I'm telling him that, I'm just gonna get him ready. I'm gonna prepare him for the for the procedure. Um, getting covered up there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some gloves on now. So I'm gonna wash my hands and put my gloves on. Which is always a little tricky with your wet hands. And once I have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and have him go ahead and move his legs to the side just a little bit and if he's unable to do so by himself I'm going to go ahead and do that for him and I'm also going to lay down just a waterproof pad here. Jose can you just lift your bum up for me and he seems to be able to do so on his own but if he wasn't I would ask for assistance and have somebody help me. So and once I have that all set up and I'm all ready I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean him up with my warm soapy water. Jose, you're gonna feel me touching you here just for a moment. So if he is an uncircumcised male, I'm gonna go ahead and retract the foreskin and I'm just gonna clean the front right around that urethra. Clean it up real good. I'm going to clean down the sides. And clean down this side and on the top and then down the bottom and get it really good and cleaned up. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and move it over there out of the way. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my gloves and wash my hands. And I'm going to get everything prepared. To do the catheter. And the first thing I'm going to do is just get my tape. I'm going to need this here in a minute. So I'm going to get it set up because it's sometimes hard to do with your gloves on. So I'll just get my tape ready and attach it to the to the stand there. I'm going to go ahead and open my catheter kit. Being very careful not to compromise the sterile contents inside the kit. So once I have it open, I'm going to go ahead and dispose of that there. Dispose of that. So I'm going to go ahead and place my kit down here. 
I'm going to open it up very carefully, being sure just to touch the outside edges so as not to compromise the sterile field. And once I have it opened, I'm going to go ahead and remove my sterile gloves. And I'm going to open them up again, not to compromise that sterile field. And I'm going to wash my hands here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the gloves on. And the first glove I'm going to go ahead and grab it on this inside here. And place the, the glove on my hand. Just being sure to touch that inside ring there. Tricky little buggers to get on, for sure. And with the second glove, I'm going to go ahead and reach inside the cuff of the glove and kind of open it up so I can get my hand in there. And I'm going to slide my hand right into the glove. And I, I tore the glove. So if this was a normal situation, I would then remove the gloves and start over from the beginning and put on new, new sterile gloves. But um, for, this, for this instructional video, I'll just keep these gloves in and assume that we have new sterile gloves on. So once I have my sterile gloves on, I'm going to go ahead and lay out my my sterile field. So I'm going to get the first drape and I'm going to lay it with the shiny side down and I'm going to drape it just up on these thighs a little, giving myself a, a nice area to work there, getting it out of the way. And I'm going to take the fenestrated drape here and I'm going to open it up as well and I'm also going to lay it creating a nice sterile field. And I'm going to get all my stuff ready here. Lay all my, my equipment out. I'm not going to need the specimen label right at this moment, so I'm going to go ahead and set it over here out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prepare the catheter set my specimen cup over here as well out of the way. And once I have the catheter out of the box, I'm going to take my syringe of saline that it comes with and I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the port here. And I'm just going to fill the catheter here and make sure that the balloon fills correctly and that it doesn't leak. And it does not, so I'm going to go ahead and draw that fluid back out. And I'm just going to leave it like that. So I'm ready for it. And so I'm going to go ahead and get my jelly, my lubricant down so that it's ready when I need it. Put that out of my way. And I'm also going to get my betadine ready so that it's sitting there when I'm ready for it. And again, I'm just going to set that over there out of the way. And once I have all that done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the plastic cover off the catheter. And I'm going to go ahead and put about four to six inches of the lubricant on the end of the catheter so that it's ready when I'm ready to insert the catheter. At this point, I'm ready to clean the area. Jose, you're going to feel me touching you just, just here for a moment. And I'm going to take my betadine swab right around the urethra. And when I'm done with it, I'm going to get it out of the way, take the second swab and start right at the urethra and go a little bit further around the glands. And then I'm going to take my third swab and again I'm going to start right at the end of the urethra and just make a, make a little bit bigger clean area. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and gather up my catheter 
Okay, Jose, I'm going to insert this catheter now. Just relax and take a nice deep breath for me. And I'm going to go ahead and insert the catheter. And I'm going to insert six to seven inches or until I see urine. And once I see some urine, I'm going to go ahead and insert just about an inch or two more. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill the balloon, keeping track of how much how much of the syringe, fluid in the syringe that I actually put into the into the catheter. And once I've done all that, I'm going to go ahead and grab the collection bag, and I'm going to grab the collection bag and set it here at the end of the bed. Then I'm going to go ahead and tape my catheter either at the top of his thigh or at the, in the lower abdomen and tape it on there. And once I have that all done, I'm going to go ahead and clean up, clean up my mess here. I'm very careful to, and so I'm going to dispose of all of this in the garbage there. I'm going to go ahead and get my warm soapy water. And I'm just going to clean that betadine off. So Jose, you're going to feel me touching you again. And so I'm going to go ahead and just clean right around that urethra, getting that betadine off. And then around, making sure to get in. Good and clean. Move that out of the way. Jose, how are you doing? And he tells me he seems to be doing okay, and it looks like the catheter is draining well. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my gloves and wash my hands. And I'm going to go ahead and get him back into a comfortable position and cover him up. Up. Bring your gown down there. Okay, Jose. And so I'm going to teach him a little bit about catheter care, explain to him. Um, Jose, so the catheter's in there and it might be a little bit uncomfortable, um, but try not to tug on it. Uh, that's, that's not good. And uh, I'll send your family back in and I'll let the doc know that we got the catheter inserted. So I'm going to grab my main supplies. I'm going to lower the bed. And I put up the handrail and I made sure he had his call bell. And I'm going to go ahead and exit the room and let his family come back in. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and document that I completed the procedure that the catheter is in. Uh, that I put 10 cc's of saline from the syringe into the balloon so that uh, they know to take 10 cc's back out when they remove the catheter. That the patient handled the procedure well and that the urine is flowing nicely.